Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, you stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. <gasps> From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies. Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good boy. You're free, uh, Saxon piggy, uh, to run uh, amok uh, through the Mercian fields. 
I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the door. Repton. Sickert should be here with Arachnesons. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofred. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Repton. Sigurd should be here with Arachnesons. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrins. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexsilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. He'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. 
for all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Some of us are staying behind, as I hear it. Half the army is already in. <laughs> Sail southeast. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the Spearden. And the Thunder of Shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. Need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. Our fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. They always find new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Jailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercy. They're devoted to him. Yeah! And they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, 
Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott. Our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. not be seen in this area. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. 
And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Huh. Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman map. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. You. I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide, it's up to you. Destroy the gate! So do the soldiers. That means the king to me. No easy! Hello, Scratch! Let's hit them hard!
feed the raven! Cut down the marksmen and elites, or they'll pin us out one by one! It's over, Burkred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one up. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this.
Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonas. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
This is not going to end well. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Bulgaret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tana has hunger for two things. Soft silver, and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are. As expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the Empress on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. Here's your silver. Mm, ripe as a plum, aren't you? So eager. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know, not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebroth Fort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Ledichester and Templebroth Fort. What do you know about them? Hmm. Ledichester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkred could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledechester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. And your friend, brother. 
Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Be gentle if they spot me. I need your eyes, my friend. Timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? No. And if Borgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. Uber has his way and you have yours. That much is clear. I'm not here to play favorites. No. 
You are here to make your mark. I know what it means to be a young Drenger. You think of glory and destiny. You've got me all figured out. I know your type, Wolfkist. But me, I am not looking as far into the future as you. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkert slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. <laughs> what do you see, Sunan? to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first, Leo for its orders. Stretch your wings. Orders. <laughs> the king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? <laughs> are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every chance he gets. That's <laughs> ever since the Danes showed up. Show me what lies ahead.
Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Ivar's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Lederchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvilsmith. She's in Templebroch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva. Let's let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Stay close to me. What do I do? Fight, man! Fight! Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My god. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Gilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Take everything! Pile the soldiers here! Let these people bear witness to the carnage that a... Best not to draw attention here. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Thank you. 
anything again. We told you. Just go. That depends on what happens here. What do you think? By land or by water? If we take a boat in there, it'll cause a stir. Is that a bad thing?